Mike said I keep it 100. Fuck my boss, text him, I ain't coming. Keep, 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 keep it 100. Light another one, I stay bloody. Text 10 dimes, yeah, I kept it 100. Oh, uh, you know another nice coming? Yeah, I keep it 100. Keep it, want keep it, want keep it, 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 want keep it, keep it, want keep it, want Hey guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number one of the Real Madrid Super League career mode series. FIFA 15 is finally here. I am loving the career mode so far. I hope you guys are if you do have the early access. But this Super League career mode is going to be awesome. We did one of them about halfway through FIFA 14 and it went down amazingly. So I'm hoping that we can get the same response on this career mode. We are going to start off. Our um, assistant manager did tell us that we should be looking for a new striker. And Sergio Aguero was the first name that came to mind. Uh, I decided after them wanting 58 million pounds, I just decided to say goodbye to Sergio Aguero and keep Benzema. Uh, I'm not even upset that we have to use Benzema. He is a quality striker, high overall in the game as well. But Man City do come in for Luka Modric and Atletico Madrid. Our rivals come in for Karim Benzema. He's worth 23 million, but the board, well, the chief executive says I should be selling him off for 32 to 40 million pounds. So I say 42 million pounds because you are our rivals. Chelsea also come in for Karim Benzema. The Frenchman is in high demand. I say 42 million pounds to them as well. I would definitely rather sell him to Chelsea over Madrid though. Uh, so as we push on here, we will see that Man City are going in for Luka Modric. They are going to pay 47.5 million pounds for Luka Modric, which is absolutely insane. And if we get rid of Modric, there's two midfielders I want to bring in about half the price of Modric. The first one is Paul Pogba, and the second one is Gundogan. Paul Pogba, uh, if you do follow me on Twitter, is one of my favorite players. As I look to my left right now, I do have a Paul Pogba Juventus jersey hanging up in my bedroom. Uh, so Pogba is one of my favorite players, and Gundogan would be a class signing as well. Uh, this series is not going to be realistic at all. It is basically just build the best team possible and win the 
uh, Super League, which is going to be our main goal. Chelsea come in 38 million. I counter for Benzema. And with Atletico Madrid, <clears throat> I play it back up to 42. But I add another 500,000 pounds just to be a dick to them because I don't like them because I am obviously the Madrid manager. Uh, and we're not selling Varane to Bayern Munich. No way, Jose. He is one of the best players, or one of the center back, one of the best center backs in the world in a few years. So I definitely want to keep him around here. Modric has gone to Man City though, which means we are going to go in extra strongly for Paul Pogba and Gundogan. So we're going to say 24.5 million pounds there for the young Frenchman, and then we're going to go in here, Borussia Dortmund's youngster Gundogan, 22 million they want, and I'm going to say how about 21 million? No, 20 million. And hopefully Borussia Dortmund do accept that. As we move on now, Chelsea are going to go ahead and pay £38 million for Karim Benzema. Which means we need to try getting a new striker. And for some reason, I want to sign Danny Sturridge. He is an absolute gun. Uh, so I'm going to put in a fair bit of money for Danny Sturridge. £23 million to Liverpool. And they come straight back at us after this highlight here. Uh, where Borussia Dortmund do so. They want £22 million. So I thought, just why not pay it for Gundogan? We're still going to make a hefty profit off of Modric's sale and even if we get Paul Pogba now yeah, we're still going to have a hell of a lot of money left in the piggy bank uh, Atletico Madrid say they want £29.5 million there for Benzema. That's how much they'll pay. And that is just a pathetic offer. I do decide to reject it. No way would I sell them for that much. Uh, but Liverpool do accept our £23 million transfer offer for Danny Sturridge. So it looks like the big English man, the beast himself. He is out injured at the moment, but it looks like if he accepts the contract, he will be coming to Real Madrid. He will be the Santiago Bernabeu's newest addition. Same with Gundogan. Hopefully, he can accept the contract. And Benzema, unfortunately, is heading to London. He is heading to Chelsea. But excellent news as both Danny Sturridge and Paul Pogba accept the transfer offers. Welcome to the club, Danny Sturridge. Going to be an absolutely amazing transfer. <laughs> We are also going to accept Paul Pogba, 24.5 million pounds he's going to cost us. What a crazy signing Paul Pogba is going to be. So two amazing signings there to kick off the series. Danny Sturridge from Liverpool and freaking Paul Pogba from Juventus. That is how we are going to wrap up the first episode of the Real Madrid FIFA 15 Super League career mode series. If you did enjoy the episode, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to see this series every day. I'm going to be running this series as my early upload and then the Crystal Palace career mode as the late upload every single day. So get pumped for that, guys. I'm so pumped that FIFA 15 is here. So make sure you subscribe for that. Make sure that you follow me on Twitter at JaredHT for all things related to my channel. But guys, I hope you have an awesome day. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.